Alex, Amy laughs in response. You can't just wear jeans and a t-shirt now you're a girl. We're going to have to put a little more effort into it. Amy looks down at the bed. Come to think of it, she says, deep in thought. I don't think I've taught you anything yet about feminine hygiene, have I? Alex gives her mother a confused look and shrugs. Surely I, um, just wash like normal? Yes, Amy cheers, bouncing on the spot. I can show you how to shave in all sorts. This is going to be so much fun. I've always wanted to show my daughter this stuff one day. Alex looks at the wall blankly for a moment, then quickly understands what her mom is suggesting. I'm not getting in the bath with you hanging around, Mom. That's so incredibly weird. No, it's not, Amy quips, snatching hold of Alex's hand. Perfectly normal for a mother and her daughter, I think. Wrenching her daughter up and off the bed, Amy pulls Alex out of the bedroom and into the hall. Alex does try and pull away, but she's amazed at just how strong her mother is. Steven, Amy shouts down the stairs as she pulls Alex in the direction of the family bathroom. We're having girl time up here. Please, can you bring us snacks? Amy stops in the hallway just before the bathroom door and looks back at Alex, deep in thought. She rolls her mouth for a moment before shouting down once again, Steven! She shrieks for his attention. We want snacks and wine. Wine? Alex asks before being jolted forward. Yes, Amy grins, throwing open the bathroom door. Pulling Alex inside, she lets go and starts running the bath. You can have a glass if you want, but it's mostly for me. As the water begins to run and fill the tub, Alex stands awkwardly in the room as her mother starts looking in the cupboard under the sink. Mom, Alex says awkwardly, not knowing what to do. Do we really need to do this? I know how to wash myself, you know. Her head in the cupboard, Amy looks back over her shoulder and smiles. You know how to wash a boy's body, but do you know how to wash a girl's? Alex goes bright red. I guess I don't? No, Amy laughs. No, you don't, but that's okay. That's what your mother is here for. Grabbing some items out of the cupboard, Amy stands and shows little bottles of liquid to Alex. Alex just nods, not really taking in what she's being shown. Turning, Amy empties some of the blue liquid into the bath, and the room is quickly filled with a pleasant, flowery aroma. Alex looks at the bath water, and memories of when she was a young boy come to mind. Those times when her mother would make the bath really bubbly so she could play Captain Bubblebeard. Bubble bath, Amy says, showing Alex the bottle she's just put in the bath water. And a small amount of bath salts. She continues, sprinkling it into the water. Okay, Alex replies, humoring her mother. Super important, Alexis, especially if you've been running around and getting all sweaty. I've lived on this planet long enough to know that boys don't like their girls to stink all musty. Do I smell musty? Alex asks, lifting one of her arms to smell underneath. Amy squints and smirks. A little, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Alex huffs, looking away. You're welcome. Now, strip and throw all that stinky uniform in the clothes bin. Alex frowns hard at the idea of getting naked in front of her mother. Don't pull that face with me, Alex. You can't get into the bath with clothes on. But, but, but you're in here, Alex says nervously, self-consciously folding her arms. Amy furrows her brow and gives her daughter a silly look. So, she asks, I've seen it all before, Alex. I'm your mother. But I'm different now, Alex, please. Amy gives her daughter a suspect look before reaching down to take hold of the rim of her school skirt. Yes, I'm aware of that, young lady. But whereas you might be different, we are now, in fact, both the same. We are women, and we have nothing to hide. Alex looks down at her mother's hands and squeaks as she pulls down her skirt. As the skirt falls around Alex's ankles, she can't help but cross her legs and feel very awkward. Oh, Blake. I'm sorry, Alex. Amy mumbles. Just get undressed already. It's not a big deal. Alex pouts and does what she's told. Reeling out of her socks, she looks at her mother as she watches with interest. 
Unbuttoning her shirt, Alex feels her cheeks burning as her mother just stares intently. Why are you looking at me like that? Alex asks, turning slightly away as she removes her school shirt. Amy says nothing for a moment as Alex slips off her shirt and stands in just her underwear. Reaching behind her back to remove her bra, Alex is reluctant as her mother continues to stare. You're still staring, Alex gripes, going bright red. Sorry, Amy says with a sigh, snapping out of it. I, um, it's just, this is very surreal for me. You've been our son for so long that I never thought anything like this would ever happen. Now look at you and that cute little figure. Amy smiles wide. You know, when I was a young girl back on Ubixis, my mother used to help me with things like this all the time. I loved being so close with her. She did? Alex questions curiously, still too awkward to remove her bra. Yeah, Amy says longingly, looking off into the distance. She used to tell me how pretty my fur was all the time. Of course, that was the first sign that I was special. Fur? Alex asks, slowly unclipping her bra. Yep. Amy nods vacantly, still reminiscing. I loved it when she'd groom me. We'd sit on the end of my bed and she'd brush me from head to tail. So relaxing, even if I'd had a bad day. Alex drops her underwear to the floor and looks at the bath that's almost full. Rushing to turn the taps off, she quickly looks over at her mother. Tail? Alex asks with a hint of disbelief. Hey, all! Sorry for the interruption, but it's time to play... Caption this! Look at the image on the screen and give us your best story caption in the comments below. Thanks for playing! We can't wait to see what you come up with. Alex's fast movements snap her mother out of her daydream. Oh yes, she eventually answers. I can still kind of feel it from time to time, like a phantom body part. Standing at the bathtub, looking down at her feminine body, Alex empathizes for a moment about missing body parts. Although she might be fuller in one area, there's defo something missing in another area that was always present before. I can understand that, Alex says softly, looking at her smaller, daintier hands. You feel like you're missing a tail? Amy asks innocently. Maybe you're more Grimalkin than we know. Reluctantly sliding herself into the hot, bubbly bath, Alex slowly submerges her body and gives her mother an awkward look. Not a tail, Alex huffs sarcastically, sliding down so the water is at her chin. I meant something else that I'm missing, Mom, although I guess it's tail-shaped. Oh? Amy blushes, understanding what her new daughter is saying. Oh, she repeats with a wry smile. Yeah, Alex says flippantly, that. Amy kneels next to the bath and puts her arms onto the sides. Resting her head on her arms, Amy looks into her daughter's eyes. Are you enjoying it? Being a girl? Alex asks, blowing away bubbles that have floated too close to her face. Yeah, strange having those things on your chest, huh? Alex looks down and can barely see her blossoming chest through the deep color of the bathwater. They've been really itchy today, Alex replies plainly. Is that normal? Not sure, Amy answers, looking off to one side in thought. Human puberty is different to that of a Grimalkin. I was never a teenage human. Amy looks down at her own chest and playfully bounces so they move under her blouse. I just got these when I transformed. I didn't have a choice, so I just kind of had to get used to being this way. Amy shakes her head and blows a raspberry. Anyways, she chuckles awkwardly. We aren't here to talk about me, are we? We've got learning to do. Getting to her feet, Amy turns and grabs a few items from the side. It's strange, she says, gathering a razor and some lotions. I never thought I'd enjoy being completely hairless. My fur was as much a part of me as my name. So to go from that to what I am now would have been unthinkable when I was your age. Amy holds out a razor to Alex, and she reluctantly takes it. She's never used one before. Looking at the shiny blades, Alex looks up at her mother for more instruction. Depending on how you decide, Amy says, lowering her hand into the bathwater to swirl the bubbles. 
You might want to shave every couple of days. Legs, stomach, arms, armpits, and your... Alex's eyes bulge wide at the thought of using such a thing downstairs. She's barely explored that new area of herself and is not well acquainted. It's a complete mystery. Wow, Amy giggles, reacting to Alex's terrified expression. Don't look so nervous. As long as you're gentle, it's easy. Do I have to? Alex sighs, lowering the razor into the bathwater. Amy scrunches her face. You might want to, yeah. For a sporty kind of gal, you might find it more comfortable when wearing tighter clothing. Amy gives Alex a cheeky wink. Plus, it's nicer if you decide to, you know, with a boy. Mom! Alex whines, looking away from her dumb expression. I don't even know if I like boys. Amy laughs out loud and splashes some bath water at Alex with her hand. Well, whatever. Either way, the person you end up liking, girl or boy, you'll feel more comfortable when you're... Stop! Alex interrupts, splashing her mother back. The two women share a giggle and smile, but that's when there's a knock on the door. Ladies, Alex's dad says from the other side of the door. The snacks you've requested. Oh good, Amy giggles, getting up to open the door. Should I be eating while in water? Alex asks. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Amy stands at the closed bathroom door and smiles. Ah, oh, stop worrying too much. I used to love eating gohobits when grooming myself. The snacks here aren't as good as they were on Ubixus, but we can defo pig out. Not letting Steve see, Amy gathers all the snacks and the wine and quickly makes bath time a feast. Alex doesn't want to admit it, but all this attention and self-care really is making her feel better. It's not just the feel of the warm water against her skin and the sweet smells filling her nose. It's more that Alex is thrilled to be having such a new and different experience with her mother. It's only now that Alex has come to see just how interesting she is. Alex used to think her mother as rather strange and a bit of an embarrassment. After a few snacks and a sip of wine, Alex feels comfortable enough to allow her mother to show her how to shave. Although awkward to do, Alex feels better about herself. Alex isn't brave enough to tackle a particular area, but she can't help but feel proud. After the day she's having, it was fantastic to pamper herself. She never knew the joy of feeling so fresh. Hey, Mom, Alex says, holding a towel around her body as she sits on the edge of the tub. Yeah, Amy replies, standing opposite with her wine glass in her hand. Thanks. Amy grins wide as she holds her glass to her mouth. You're welcome, sweetheart. I feel so relaxed right now. All I want to do is put on soft and baggy clothes and get all cozy. Alex then glances nervously at Amy. She knows that's very different behavior to her old self. We can do that. Amy grins, delighted at the idea. You can borrow some of my leggings if you want. Then we can watch a film too and pig out some more. Maybe you can even tell me about this Luke boy. Alex nods and smiles. I'd like that. Alex then looks down in thought. Maybe we can watch something that might teach me about going on a date with a boy? Ooh, Amy teases, having become a little tipsy. So you're going to go on this date then? Alex swipes her hair from her eyes. I'm not sure. I guess I'm curious. That's my girl. Amy squeaks and dances in excitement. I can't wait to meet him. Alex gulps down hard as expectations rise. Yeah, she laughs awkwardly. Don't get too excited. I don't know if it's a date or not, remember? 